Hello and welcome, my name is Nila, so this is episode 34 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio. Well, as promised last time, I have now created... Hey, why can't I read what it's... Oh, there we go. I've created these columns. I we created copper last time, I've created iron, tin, and lead, as you can see here. So this is Danish colors, red and white, and it produces something black. That's a bit strange, but yeah, it, it is what it is. And over here, we have tin. That is, I don't know what that is, blue and brown, also working. We can see the stereotype is actually a bit starved here because I'm also directing it. Here it is, and that is a lot of copper, right? A lot of copper. Wow, it's actually, it's actually almost full. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming being full already. Okay, well, um, that's pretty good. What I'm also seeing is that this base is actually starving a lot. And uh, what about you? You are not quite full, but that was also the first one. But it might run full, and this is the one that I really don't want to run full, because this is the key. Right, so, I only have a bit of iron left, and I have a bit of a buffer on copper, but what I really need in the base is actually the tin. So we will be starting this time around on rebuilding the tin. So let's start by working our way here. This is on the metallurgy session uh, section. Where is it? Tin. So this goes first we process, then we pellet, and then we ink it, then we smelt, and then we're done. And we have all the engines again. I think let's see. It's this one that requires coal, just base coal. Yeah, and that's not a problem. This one, again, coal and molten, that's fine. Okay, so the only thing I need is adding coal on top. Okay, let's start by figuring out how I want it. I can get it in wherever the hell I want. So let's start. First thing we do is, and I need a few more things here. First thing is we process. Let's build it here. Process tin. Great. And that's, uh, I generate, I take four and I get one process tin. Okay, great. And that's per two seconds. Next stop is, then I have to do the process into pellets. That's actually two to one. Um, the pellets thingy, where is my pellet thingy? It's probably in here. How does a pellet thingy look like? Induction, casting, pellet press. There we go. And we just agreed that we wanted two of these. So this one generates one per two seconds. This takes two per two seconds. That's two to one. Great. And speed is the same, 0 0.75. Yes, excellent. Next, that gives me 12 pellets. Wow, per two seconds. Where is it we use the pellets? We use that in, 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 in this one. Hmm, that's actually strange, isn't it? That's the big thing, the casting machine. Is that a casting? That one, blast furnace. So let's see. Blast furnace using 10 ingots. So every four seconds, it takes four. What's the speed? Still the same. Every four seconds it takes four. Let me just let's just think here. I can't figure this out. Sorry, that's beyond me. So four seconds it takes four. <laughs> and every four seconds this generates twenty-four. So that's six of those? That's pretty crazy, isn't it? It's pretty damn crazy that I'd want one pallet press generating this much. That does seem crazy, doesn't it? It most certainly seems like this one. What's it? Where's the pallet press? That thing is a pallet press. Should definitely be here. Because then I can. Oh, I shouldn't have picked up both. These ones can go like something like this. And then we can have like raw materials coming in from the side. 
but these ones also require coal which could then mean that I can I can take the coal in here I don't like that I really don't like that there's something about this that doesn't seem right I think the coal comes in here that's how the coal works because they can now grab the coal and nothing else needs it this does look right why does it need fuel as well blast furnace what about can I get a better blast furnace I must be oh, I can't even get a normal blast furnace no this requires aluminum plate aluminum plate damn it why can't I why do I keep saying it wrong and it's not that much faster it's a very much a lot more expensive what I do not like about this is that I suddenly need to take take my raw materials in from both sides well let's let's um let's play with that idea for now and for me this seems like this needs to rotate 90 degrees but let's still see so each one of these generate five ingots per five seconds all right what do we do with the ingots we melt the ingots ah that's again some strange thing here so that's five per five second five per five five per four seconds so everything is on a four second cycle so these three are doing 15 per four seconds and the molten part is also four seconds so that's five of them that seems quite pretty good what is that that's the is that a casting engine or is it an no I think we need to induct it before we cast it induction is that the one yes it is molten tin but we need five of these what's the speed again 75 so in order to match the three ingots coming in that need to make five of these it does seem not correct right like two, one, three, five. Induction. No, that's not an induction. That's an induction. So it'll be something like this, which is also pretty crazy, right? Which means that each one of these can support 20 of these. All right. Well, let's play with this idea for now. And this one generates three molten tin all right ten plates again on a four four second cycle and these are generating three so that's 15 per four seconds 15 that's seven and a half of the casting machines one two three four five six seven and a half well, that's pretty good right my constraint here is on this one right this one is the alternative is that I just acknowledge that this one will just always be output constrained because this seems like too much I can make it like one two and three and then five one two three one two three five great one two three five that seems okay I think that's what I did last time but this seems the reason why I'm not too keen on this is this one it's hard to make it this one feed this and that that one feeds these two and this one feeds these three it could work right it could work hmm and then from here this is our output yeah all right, let's let's give that a shot. We start down here. Should I have some room for stuff to run by? I think I need some room here if if I need to run something by. So let's start. This is the output, and I'm gonna have like two of those here and two of those here. I'm just gauging how wide this is. Actually, I needed to make it closer. I need it all the way over there.
the reason for that is that I suspect I suspect that it will be this will be more than half the white with this part okay this goes all the way up to half but with this level here put underneath that's not going to be a problem. What is this one? That's not a problem either. Okay. Let's get start from from the beginning. Casting engine. Two, three. Oops. Four, five, six. Well, okay, whatever. That's six, seven, eight. And then the next one is... Where the hell are they? Are they in here? We'll take everything in. Blast furnaces. Casting. Induction. These are the inductions I need. One, two, three, four, five. How the hell is that? Yeah, okay, it's one wire. That's okay. And then we have the blast furnace. Blast furnace, that one. I need three of those. One, two, three. Then we have the coal coming in. All right, I think I, I'm missing something here because. I also need to get, this is a coal, but well, how do I get the, um, like this? It doesn't seem right, does it? Something like this, but it's not really going to, it's taking four for two seconds. That's like one lift from, uh, from what's it called the grabber <laughs> that's really not an issue I guess it's too simple it's really strange how the pallet press is just so much faster than anything else that's pallet press and you'll need a bit of space on each side actually you could also do it like more even more space what would be the advantage of that when I take this one in? There would actually be a room here where it could take from. No, that's not an advantage. My concern here is that when things are on a belt, if you grab from a belt that's moving away from you, red inserted, these ones actually have a problem grabbing it sometimes, especially in corners where they just make the grabbing motion but they don't pick up anything. Um, which is actually the case there. That one is actually moving away, which means that this one might have issues grabbing stuff. Ah, it shouldn't have. It really shouldn't have. And then let's have this one. This is the coal. Coal in here. And something and other stuff in there. Great. Let's um, copy, paste, copy, paste, paste. Oh, I didn't even make these. This is tin plate. I don't exactly know how much. Um, what uh, the utilization is. Uh, basically I take four in and by the end of all of these four are all perfect ratios uh, yeah that's 24 in order to consume 24 I need yes all of that so four comes in every two seconds I don't know it's this one this is the one that dictates it that one take so this whole thing is going to take eight inbound per second no, per two seconds. So it's four per second. And the output will be, that's 15 of these. Two tin plates, that's half a tin plate per second times 15, that's seven and a half tin plate per second. And I take four ends. That's pretty, that's almost double up in efficiency. That's not bad, it's not bad at all. But it also takes like a ridiculous amount of space really efficient actually now that I think of it okay let's proceed and blast furnace don't be in the way 
and casting thingy. I can't tell the difference. Casting? No, it's not a casting machine. It is. It's not a blast furnace. It is that one. Induction. Induction. There we go. Hello, car. Get out of the way. Also, I guess I have to hurry up a bit. That's not it. That one. Two, three, four, five. Let's get all of this out. It's just confusing me. But if you look at the capital investment, as in the fixed cost of all of this infrastructure in order to improve efficiency, then it doesn't sound like a good deal. Because it's actually quite ridiculous the amount of of materials coming into this. That could be a big attack, couldn't it? Ah, uh, damaged, yes, whatever. But it is what it is, I can't really do anything about it. So far so good, and I can definitely make one more on the other side. All right. So we need, we need to start have everything stop blinking. And these ones should also be moved, so the output is actually on the right side. There. So far, so good. I will grab this one. One, two, three, four. I only need, I need these. They're there and there. And this will be L. Copy, paste, 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 paste. That is, now we get the colon. Now the next one is from this one. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Actually, I can't put it there. Huh. That one's easy. Let's Oops, this is going to be a bit of a mess in here. So this one has to be the coal, while this... Oh, I wish I had different colors. You know what, maybe I should use these different colors just so I can keep track of it. I have six of these, so let's try and use that actually. Which one needs to be fastest? The coal doesn't, how fast, how much coal? One coal per four. So coal can be the slow one, that's fine. Which also makes sense because this has to be the long one. So that one and that one, that's for the coal. The coal on this one needs to go here and here. And we'll take it over here so it doesn't interfere. Then this one will be And these need to be adjusted. So pick up delivery like this. Yes, this one as well has actually has to be moved like so. It's now picking up the correct location. This is how oh, I love uh, Bob's inserters. They are so awesome. You can do some amazing things. Things just become so much uh, more flexible. There, great. Now all of these are up and running and let's actually start by, don't really care about if I have too many of these. So that's good. Let's uh, bring it down here, such, like so, okay, this is up and running. I would like to put something in here. Oh, that's probably also a good idea to do that. Um, which one is the coal? That, that's the coal. Very accurate measurements here. And unfortunately, I have to do this instead. Because I decided the Jevolite should be all the way up. And 
and the other one it comes from here actually wow I did not even see that it is completely perfect match look at this it's completely not perfect match whatever I thought I was brilliant but mm, guess not This one is getting the absolute best treatment going through. And here we will have It's too far, isn't it? That's not even close. It's actually like this. And let's get some more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one will be a near inserter. Copy, paste, paste. They are now in bond. Let's see. Is anything happening? You're not working at all. Why are you not working at all? That's because you're just not getting it yet. And... Well, one more thing that's kind of important is this part and that part. Copy, paste. Because they actually need to get in here. And these ones are not doing anything. Why are they not doing anything? These are green. Yes, perfect. Now I again need to do something here. Let's see, this one is going to be that one. This one is going to be that one, and that one. Good, so this actually, this is actually quite neat. Ugh, those attacks, they are just draining my spirit for sure. That's hooked up and are they working? Yes, they are getting stuff in. So let's just uh, hook this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're not all gonna run at all times. One. Two, three, four. That's not efficient at all. Look at that. We have something working. How much is getting destroyed? Ah, not much. We can deal with that. Let's zoom a bit in again. And the power? Yeah, power's fine. Brightness turning down. This is actually not so good that it is this much and it's already draining here. I'm gonna look at that at some point. But not now. And this one will be here because that needs to go into that one. This one here because it goes go in this and here. Good. So we have that one there and there. It's actually quite neat that it's the same one. Or anyway, that's the. And that one is still hooked up. And then we. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And I'll just put these as they need. This is good. And I will again make half of them near and sort of. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And now all I can say is I wish I had blueprints because then I could, well, I do have blueprints, but I wish I also had robots to actually do my bidding for me. There. We now have a decent amount. It's, it's nothing major or amazing or anything like that, but it's, it's getting there. And what I'll do is I'll build something identical on this side and I'll build it up here and I'll build it up here which gives me a hell of a lot of uh, um, but I might not do it right now let's see what if we build the next one like with one between one two three four five six seven eight Template is the one that is most sought after in the general factory because it's one that actually keeps me from uh, from oops producing 
uh, what does it keep me from producing? Oh yeah, the, the what is it called? The small, uh, the basic circuit boards, and they are needed for quite a quite a lot of things actually. And this one also definitely has to be upgraded to red all the way, and probably turn it the right way as well. And I think it's this one, this way, that's the most critical. And go. I just want to see this one coming. Uh, I guess not. I guess I don't have any more. Well, I, I'm sure I do. They are in my, in my car. They're always in my car. There, quite a few. Did I not take the car? Whatever. And we can see the... What? Oh, crap. Stupid inventory. Okay, um, let's pretend that last thing didn't happen. And I need to clean out my inventory. It's full of junk. I can do that to clean out a bit. I can do this to clean out a bit. That gives me a few extra spaces, but it's still quite embarrassing. This part here. There. Oh, crap again, because I'm still keep picking these up. Okay, that's something I'll, I'll mess with while off screen, because if I do it on screen, it'll just make me look like a moron. So, um, with that in mind, I will keep it here. It's actually not very much being created. I probably need to double it up because this is not very much. Look how little it is. Such a big infrastructure for really little gain. That's typical for uh, for Angel's mods. But anyway, it, it looks nice. It's very compact actually. This is quite nice and it's really well balanced. The only thing that is balanced is that there's a half over capacity on this. Otherwise, it's perfectly balanced. It's pretty good. Okay, so thank you very much for joining and I hope to see you in a future episode. Thank you. Bye.